Brought to you in part by Susan Shoot at Exclusive Realtors, servicing South Chicagoland, Northwest Suburbs, Kankakee, and Will County. Hey, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to put on the uh, plaid, that um, anti-nag device that goes in the steering wheel. Um, it doesn't really nag you anymore as long as you're looking at the road, but if you look away for too long and it, it's not that very long, it will tell you to grab the wheel. So um, I want to see if this is actually going to work if you don't look at the road, if it's going to still want you to grab the wheel or if this device is going to be enough to um, eliminate you needing to grab it. This is the device right here. Uh, inside the steering wheel, there's a plug that looks like this. So you're basically going to unplug it. And then this fits in between and those prongs are going to go into the other plug and that's it. They, after you connect it, they want you to wrap it with a piece of tape. Um, this will be uh, handy here to uh, take the airbag off to poke through the holes in the back to push the, uh, release the clips and then this just to cut the tape. So here I kind of, um, that other tool I had with the Torx thing wasn't was too big. So I have this here. This is a, um, for a tire valve stem and you just stick it through the back here. And actually with the little slot, it's kind of easier to grab this little clip. Then you just push it and you can re release that airbag. Just like that. And here, you just got to squeeze these two little tabs here, and you just pull this out. And on, on this, you just got these prongs here. You just uh, line them up. On the one side, you see there's wires on one side of the plug. So you just, the same, you just match that up, and you just put it in there. Just slide it in like that. And then you're just going to tape it up. So the plug that you put back is not shaped the same, but it does fit in there. I did hear uh, the, or see the light go on. You want to tuck this thing down here. If you have the regular horn airbag, because uh, the other style airbag, there's more room behind it, but there's plenty of room here. In that hole, you just tuck it down in there. <clears throat> um, the next thing uh, I have to do is just turn the car on and test it, make sure it works. So what I like to do here is put the horn on a different sound that's not the horn, because uh, when you push the airbag back on, you don't want to be blasting it. So that's the sound we're going to hear. And then test it with double tap. You should hear a beep. And that's on. And that's off. And that's it. As far as installation, now I'm just going to test it. All right. So going down the country road here, I'm going to turn it on, there's the beep with it on, and then I will just I guess I'll let it give me a strike if I don't uh, look at the road. Let's 
So it's still giving me warnings, even with this thing turned on, so I don't think it works. So it does not work on this. Because it just said I can't use it anymore for the rest of this drive, so that that uh, device doesn't work with this anymore. It worked on my Model S perfectly fine, but it will not work on this. So as you can see, it does not work on this car. Uh, for me, it's not really a big deal because ever since the update, where as long as you're looking at the road every five to ten seconds, it doesn't ask you to do it. And if you're just looking forward in general, it never asks. So um, I just wanted to see if this thing would work without um, looking at the road at all, which my other car did uh, because it didn't have an internal camera. So this will work on a car without an internal camera that's watching your eyes because my other car was perfectly fine uh, without touching the steering wheel and, and everything like that. This device was working, though, correctly, because I thought maybe maybe it's not working right, or maybe there's something in the settings. So at first, it was set to auto um, speed, and then I changed it to, like, the manual so that it goes off of, like, like whatever speed you set. So if you're doing 45 and you turn it on, it cycles it up and down <clears throat> one mile per hour to simulate you touching the steering wheel. So... Even with that, it's still main focus is where you're looking, not if you're touching the steering wheel. So, again, that just won't work. So, I would say that this is the first time I hit a fail video where something didn't work. Um, so, I'll probably put this up for sale or something. Uh, it'll work on a, you know, an older car of this version, so without the camera inside. Um, I do have some uh, a device coming for the RAM. That'll be pretty cool. I... It's the new No Limits DT. Actually, for mine, I think I did get the JL, but we'll go over that when I do the video. But it uh, takes the speed limiter off, um, blocks the RF for, you know, anti-theft. It's a lot of cool features on it. I'll go over it then. But please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.